the smell. Oh, let me rub it all down my chest. Rub it all down my chest. And also rub it in my hair. Huh? And I have a problem with that now? Huh? 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 Hey beauties, it's Viviana and today I'm finally showing you guys how I make my DIY Vicks Vapor Rub. If you don't want to call it a DIY Vicks Vapor Rub, you can simply just call it my new updated hair growth oil. Ointment. Yeah, it's more of an ointment. My new and updated hair growth ointment. So if you haven't seen this trend, people have been using Vicks Vapor Rub on their scalp to accelerate hair growth. And whereas many people swear that it works, there are many people that swear that they will never put Vicks Vapor Rub on their scalp. If you haven't seen my elaborate rant on why I think Vicks Vapor Rub is okay to use on your scalp, then I'll be sure to leave that video up in the eye cards. Coochie cream, tall fungus cream, it really doesn't matter how outrageous it sounds, it's all more than I pay it will fall under those three components of maximum hair growth. So, I'm not surprised anymore by anything that comes out. I don't think you should be either. So, as stated on the back of the Vicks Vapor Rub, the active ingredients are camphor, eucalyptus oil, and menthol. And easily found on Amazon is eucalyptus, camphor, and menthol. All three of these oils are considered essential oils and that basically just means they're really concentrated and should not be used straight out of the bottle. They should be diluted with a carrier oil. And my carrier oils for this mix is shea butter and castor oil. So at the back of the container for the Vicks Vapor Rub, it does give the percentage of the active ingredients. It says camphor, 4.8%, eucalyptus oil 1.2% and menthol 2.6%. So I just use a basic concept that my profession teaches me, always round up. And I made this mixture on the basis that the active ingredients makes up 10% of the entire mixture. So this container is 6 tablespoons and 10% of 6 tablespoons is 0.6 tablespoon and 0.6 tablespoon is approximately 1.8 teaspoon. So I simply had to ensure that my three active ingredients added up to 1.8 teaspoon which would be 10% of my total mixture. Easy peasy. So 10% of my mixture is going to be my essential oils and 90% of my mixture is going to be my carrier oils. 90% of my 6 tablespoon is 5.4 tablespoon but because I don't want to complicate the thing too much I decided to just round it off and use 5 tablespoon of my carrier oil ingredients. So since I wanted my carrier oils to add up to 5 tablespoons, I decided to use 2 tablespoons shea butter and 3 tablespoons castor oil. So now time for the fun part. Even though I wanted to make my DIY mix comparable to the original Vicks Vapor Rub, looking at these ingredients, I didn't want the same ratio. Because for the original, they have camphor as the highest percentage and eucalyptus oil as the least percentage. And in my research, I found that eucalyptus oil is more beneficial to the scalp than camphor. So I decided to switch the percentage. I use approximately 1.2% for the camphor and approximately 
4.8% eucalyptus oil. Always round up. So since I'm now trying to get 4.8% eucalyptus oil in my total mixture, I just decided to round it up to 5%, which will be 50% of my 1.8 teaspoon that I want of total essential oil. And 50% of 1.8 teaspoon is 0.9 teaspoon. And because I don't have a 0.9 teaspoon, teaspoon, I decided to use one teaspoon. Hey, as I said, we're trying not to get too complicated here. And next we have menthol. Menthol is a compound derived from peppermint and the menthol I purchased from Amazon comes in a white crystal form. And in order to turn my crystals into a liquid, I just drop the container into some hot water. Not boiling hot water. Hot enough to see a little steam, but warm enough so you can still touch it. And in a few seconds, you'll see it start turning into a clear liquid. But in the meantime, I'm going to add my camphor. So as I said, I am swapping the percentage for my camphor and my eucalyptus oil. So I'm going to be using approximately 1.2% of my camphor instead of the 4.8% as the original has it. And I decided that 1.2% just sounded too small. So I decided to go up a notch and do 2%. 2% of my total mixture, which worked out to about one third teaspoon and I don't have a one third teaspoon teaspoon so I decided to use a quarter teaspoon plus a one eighth teaspoon so by now enough of our menthol has been liquefied so we're aiming for 2.6% menthol. Let's just round that up to 3% menthol. And that gives me about half teaspoon of menthol for my total mixture. And that is it. We now have our comparable Vicks Vaporub for maximum hair growth. So if I'm supposed to make my own ingredients list for my DIY mix, it would look like this. Oh, and it smells, it smells so good. Don't worry, I'm going to show you guys how I use it. Um, it's going to be a part of my hair growth challenge. If you haven't seen my intro to my hair growth challenge, I'll be sure to have it up in the i card so you can watch it and yeah, find out what the hell I'm talking about. If you're new here and this one video has not convinced you to subscribe, I'll be sure to have some more of my videos linked up in the i card so you can watch, get more familiar with my channel and what we do around here. And I mean, if you like what you see, subscribe. But if you already subscribed and you still like what you see, I suggest you share the video so other people can see it and then decide that they probably won't subscribe too. Okay, beauties. Later. Mwah. DIY Vicks Vapor Rub. Yes, rub it on your scalp, rub it on your chest, rub it all over your body. Can you see how much my curls are popping? Guys, I'm even getting shrinkage. What? So <laughs> you know what? I don't see texture. I don't see texture. I don't see texture.